Okay, so now we're going to talk about turning. This is the basic turning, uh, going backhand, forehand. And when I talk about turning, often if I coach somebody, uh, my instructors will use the language of turning, um, the language of the blood body, flexion, extension, rotation, abduction, abduction. But it gets complex, yeah? Especially in a second language. So, we're going to keep it simple. We'll kind of use a story to help you understand how turning works. But what's really important with turning is these basic things. What affects turning? Um, if I ask people, what do you think turns a surfboard? Most people will say, especially if they come from snowboard, heel and toe, your shoulders, your hips. And they're all right. Yeah, all these things actually work. But we know what really physically turns a surfboard is your vision. Where you look is where you go. Remember this thing, we keep saying it with these videos, you look up, you stay up. You look down, you'll probably go down. So if I look left, I may well go left. If I look right, I may well go right. It's a huge key. Head rotation, where I look. Okay. But I've got to be standing in the right place. You know, you will see some amazing surfers stand not in the middle. Mark Ocalupo, one of the greatest backhand surfers on this planet, watch his front foot. It's kind of quite a bit over on his backhand too. It's like there, you know, but it's Oki and he gets away with it, you know, and he's got this incredible counter rotation when he's, he's bottom turn, it's fantastic. But I'm going to teach basically you guys to have your feet pretty much central. Try and keep it central. Firstly, I do not want anything open. I'm not going to turn anywhere. I'm going to fall off in that position. Do it yourself at home. Have a little practice. Stand like that and then put it in the wrong place. Oh, that feels awful. You feel it? It's weird. <laughs> you lose your balance. So, we're here. And um, I'm not overweighting one way or the other. I'm going to rely on some basic physical things to make it happen. I must have my feet uh, in that neutral, slightly over shoulder width position. I can't turn too low. That's really, I'm not getting any turning capability there and I'm getting none like that. So again, we're in this kind of soft position. You could almost look, it's like over 90 down there. That position, okay. So, now we have our story. How do we turn? We've got our feet right, we're thinking about our vision. So, you've seen the Lord of the Rings? You've never seen The Lord of the Rings? Okay. Well, in The Lord of the Rings, they've got these evil little, you know, you work with kids and they read stories, don't they, about dwarves and little monsters and stuff. So you've got to imagine, we've got these things called orcs, which are horrible things, monster type things, but they're tiny. And all our little orcs are all in front of us here, yeah? And these orcs, there's two things about them. If they get hold of you, they eat you. But the thing they really like most in the world is cheese and cucumber sandwiches, yeah, which you eat every day at the school. So you have a plate of cheese and cucumber sandwiches. Yeah. And you have to feed these little dwarves. Now, there's another thing with the little dwarves. If you look at them, they turn you to snow. So you don't want to go close to them. You want to feed them, but you don't want to look at them. Okay. So they're all here. They're about you know, this, this high. Little dwarfs making a rotten little noise. So I've got my sandwiches. Now they're over there, and I can hear them making this noise. They want these sandwiches. <laughs> and I'm going to feed them. Look what I do. I drop down. Now I'm dropping so they can get the sandwiches. But am I looking at them? No. I'm not looking at them, and I'm not leaning forwards, because if they do that, ooh, I'm gone. They've grabbed me. So I'm staying a little bit away from them. Look at the movement. I fed them. Now the last dwarf is at 45 degrees, remember that. Dwarf is not behind me, it's about 45. That is the angle that you'll turn normally on a surfboard. Your first good turns are kind of 45. Yeah, we do other angles as we develop, but here we go, sandwiches, screaming dwarf. Okay, they've had their sandwiches, now the guys over there are screaming. I'm gonna look where they are, I'm not gonna look at them, turn my head, there's my rotation. Now they're screaming over there again. They want their sandwiches again. So I'm looking and my rotation follows. 
Now what happens is, I am not like a robot like this. I am letting the head be free, so as soon as I want to turn, I look and I follow that direction. I look and follow that direction. I'm going off the lip, I'm looking and following that direction. So all the time, vision leads it. Things I'll do wrong. Everybody on their back end, they get pretty good at this. They go, okay, I'm going to go like this, you know. And then you watch them on their forehand. Ugh. And it's all going wrong. You know as soon as you're waiting here, we said it before, if we go beyond that magic position there, we're falling. Let's watch it again. No dwarfs, here's the language of turning. Flexion, extension, modern surfing. Watch Kelly, watch the guys, watch the back leg drop in. It drops in a lot these days. And watch, turn. The other way, turn. So look at that extension, flexion, rotation. First rotation of the head, rotation of the shoulder. The shoulder adducts, the shoulder drops down because you've got to feed those little dwarves. The little dwarves are not there in the sky. Yeah, you, know, you watch a longboarder, yeah, we can turn like that, we do a drop knee, but basic turning involves dropping that shoulder. And the other way. And when I make a turn, what I do is slow the surfboard down. It's like you're skiing. Do you ski? Snowboard? Make a carve on a snowboard, you slow down, then you let it go. Carve on a snowboard, so you get that. Same thing's happening with a surfboard. Any turning movement kind of can slow it down. So watch how I put a little bit of weight back into my knee. Turn, wait. Turn, wait. See what's happening? I'm making that little turn. Turn, wait. I just want to keep that board running, you know? Okay, jump on for me. We're going to do the dwarves first, okay? Right. Sandwiches. Right. That's a lovely position. Now, the little dwarves are screaming over there. So, you have to look, look over the top of them and feed them. Excellent. You dropped your shoulder. That's super, man. That's really nice. Yeah, great flexion of the back leg, a little bit of extension front leg. And now they're screaming over there. Have a look and follow them. Keep on that back leg, back leg, back leg. There, you got it. See, that's good. That's good. Well done. Okay, they're only 45 degrees. Cool. Take them around again. Nice. Excellent, excellent. And back the other way. Look first, then turn. Look first. Yeah, you got it. Super. Super. That's excellent. Okay, jump off for me. This open hand, I mean, there is a time. You watch, again, one of my big heroes of this shoulder work is Taj Burrow. And you watch Taj, he kind of has this down hand, open shoulder, down hand, you know. So, yeah, it's not always like this. But it's an interesting thing. Come from here, Villela. Stand just by there. Put your hand down and feel the tightness in your muscles there, right? Now put your hand up and feel them soft. Yeah? Turn them over, hard. Yeah? Turn them back up, soft. So what's happening often when we're learning, if we've got hand down, we've got tension there. But we don't want that tension. We want to take it all the way and be soft. Now, yeah? What we're going to do is our combination. We're going to jump and turn. Jump and turn. Now your turns are excellent. You know, you know, you're surfing well, you know, they're doing great. But think first about a nice easy jump. Settle yourself and as soon as you've landed, it'll look like this. I'm going right. I'm going right all day. I haven't gone backhand yet today. <laughs> going right. I'm there. Hey, I'm too far back. Adjust it. Always at home, adjust that position. Yeah. So what I did was think, that turn's going to happen almost as I've landed. Here's that beautiful unbroken wave. We don't go down. Oh, I'll now turn. It's one of the big things we learn not to do. We drop and turn. Yeah. Or drop into our bottom turn. Yeah. Have a go. Look at that wave. Choose your wave. 
Nice, 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 nice. Really good jump again. I want you to do it again, but I want you to open up the shoulder. You did it with your hand down. I need that hand open and coming around. Down we go again. Is that mirror in the right place for you? Or could you move it? Okay, let's move it. Because I moved the surfboard. Tell me when. Good? Ooh, not bad at all. But where were you looking as you jumped? Not in the mirror. Not in the mirror. Let's go again. Keep your eyes on that beautiful wave. Look across that beautiful wave. That's the one. Yeah, so much better. Really good, really good. One more time. Listen, let's do something really exciting. Let's go backhand for once. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Yes, super, super, super. So what it is, is that on your backhand, you're just extending a little bit too early. So I imagine, and I haven't seen you down the beach, that most, if you fall backhand, it'll probably be just after you jump up. Mm -hmm. If you make your jump up, you'll be okay. So I want you to think now, as I jump backhand and turn, I don't want to be too high. Keep softness, okay? Off we go again. Keep looking at that wave, that'll help you. Oh, yes. Ooh, super. Brilliant. All right. Thank you. So, now we've got that jump up going. We've got the turning going. We've got the footwork going. So, at home, now we can do everything. We can do uh, forehand. I'm going to do forehand, jump, bottom turn. I've slowed down footwork. Come back off my footwork and slowly turn to my backhand. You see what I'm doing? You've got this kind of whole kind of system. So, you know, it's a good day. As, what's, what's the name of your city in Germany? Oh, Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Yes, it's a good day of surf in Stuttgart, okay? So, <laughs> so we're here. Yeah? Simple little drills, you know? Let's have a go. So before we see Yellow's drills, we're going to see how those drills could work when used in white water. So what we're going to see um, is backhand and forehand white water turning. I'm in a position in this wave, uh, the arm is open, heads up, starting to move across the wave. I'm going to use footwork. Remember we talked about waiting and unweighting. There's the footwork, shoulder drops, and I rotate. Let's have a look at the next one, heads up looking across, look at the shoulder drop, there's the rotation, weight goes back down, a little bit of footwork to keep it going, and drop into the turn again, shoulder drop in, that's really important. This one, the wave goes from a white wave to an unbroken wave. Vision's not bad, it's not great, should be looking across the wave a little bit more, but let the board flow, let it pick up speed, Drop the shoulder, here comes the weight. Now watch as I go high, shoulder drops and board will rotate. Head and shoulder is leading everything. Now I've almost lost the wave, so a little bit of footwork. Let the board glide, don't overpressure it. Take it into the next section. Watch the shoulder drop, drops as we straighten down the wave. This backhand wave, I'm not really turning until I really open the shoulder and suddenly as I open the hand and the shoulder, that dwarf idea, there it goes, I'm turning backhand to forehand. Do what you like, do what you're thinking of, go the way that you want to go, yeah? Go and start again. <laughs> Footwork, you're going, what was I supposed to do? Footwork. <laughs> so I want you to do your jump. What was wrong with your jump? Where were you looking? Uh, always have that vision. Yeah, let's go again. I want you to do the jump, turn.
turn, footwork, turn. Look across that wave. That's it. Any way you like. Turn. Footwork. Excellent. Back. And turn. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right, guys at home, this is your practice. You know, this will turn you into a, a better surfer. You know, just simple things. So when you go down to that beach, maybe you're not surfing regularly, every weekend, every few months, three times a year, once a year, when you go down there, your body's ready for what you've got to do. All you've got to do is catch the wave. The rest of it goes, oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember that. You know, that's huge advantage in your surfing, you know. I do this with really good surfers, really good competitors, top competitors. Learn this basic system, okay? All right, thanks.